hi everyone and welcome back in this video we are going to talk about page based routing so consider that these are the pages right so whatever we create like if you create uh, about dot js it will become next js route this we have already discussed like you put the same content in the about it will start coming up in the about route of the page okay so how can we create a uh, dynamic routing it's like uh, you have some simple page like blogs right and then like consider that you are displaying lot of blogs here in the blogs.js okay there are lot of blogs you are showing and what you are doing is you are just importing one particular class okay and now you wanted to create a links of each and every blog it can be as simple as it can be simple as this right so here we are trying to look for a single blog having this id right so what we can do for these particular cases is we can just create a particular folder okay what we can do is this blog and this id right so there will be some some dynamic id we are just passing so what we can do is uh, we can just create blog folder inside that we can create id.js with these square brackets so with the help of this it will be able to handle all the task all the routes which are coming with blog forward slash dynamic id i will just remove this content and will say k not even class name i'm just trying to use it uh child component child component as a blog so you might be getting this uh, id from the react uh, from the next router okay so this is like how we are doing a dynamic path in this now you can actually use the router to use you can use a router and you can actually query this const router equal to use router you don't have so we just need to import it use router from next router okay so here we can import use router and then you can actually get this data from the router query so what i can do is router dot query dot id okay this is how you can print it you can actually do the null check if id is not coming then what need to be done but this is how you can access the query parameter and all the routes which are coming with blog forward slash one will be handled by this blog forward slash abc anything at one level down will be handled by this particular id.js similarly if you want a wild card means all the the nested routes should also be handled so what you can do is instead of doing this we just put a dot 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 in this particular case either you put all these particular routes will be handled by this blog page itself okay and how you will get you will get these attributes in the page itself so uh, this is how actually the routing works these are called page based routing okay and you can actually manage it uh, just by providing the path in your particular page like dash 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 dot 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 id right so in this particular case it should be able to handle all different kind of requests which are coming so in this router dot query it is coming as an object so in this particular case router dot query will contain an object so it is an id and whatever you are adding whatever you are adding in the routes like a b c d that will come as argument here it will be a that will be a array of ids if you talk if you are talking about this particular example 
where this particular route is able to handle this particular request okay if you are not putting triple dot means id.js then it should be able to handle only this particular case and you are getting everything in the router.query okay even if you do uh, foo equal to var in this particular case this router.query will contain all these in the object so router.query will contain id is a and then there is a foo whose value is bar this is foo and value of this is bar this is how this router query is working and we are actually using use router to extract the query parameters okay so if you are getting this is an array like you can just do const ids equal to router dot query dot id if it is there you can just do a join on this router dot query dot id dot join and we can just print these ids it will be now a string right so this is called path based routing which is decided based on the path which you have entered now here similarly you can have a contact and inside contact particular contact id dot js something like this and in nice js this also provides the api based routing when you do npm run dev okay this is api based routing and these all apis are exposed on forward slash api uh, let me add comment so api so forward slash api so this particular is actually rest api you have created which is nothing but it is going to render this particular json object once server is coming up okay so in future examples we will talk about what is this underscore app underscore document and underscore error these are like some predefined but you can also override app document and error pages for your next js application uh, this is path based routing now router has lot of different methods router dot push router dot prefetch okay here we are using use router with router there are many ways of accessing the the router data currently we are using use router there is also a concept of export default function with router it will it will actually convert your functional component into higher order component export default with router home so here you can create this variable and from here it will expose as the props in the props dot uh, query props dot query you will be able to access the query parameter okay so that's it guys uh, thanks everyone